Back at Alive with Brian Meadows facing Luis Gonzalez. The base hit scores Tony Womack. Oh, I am. Hi, I'm Christine Pallara. Welcome to Treasure Makers. You know, everybody wants to fill their home with beautiful and unique furnishings, but paying retail prices can really add up quickly. That's why we're here. At recycling centers like this one, you can find hundreds of things to transform into beautiful items for your home. And that's a very good thing, because we are on a mission to solve a problem that many people face. How to put decorative, trendy touches into a room without breaking the bank. Let's take a look at what we're up against. This is it. It's an average room in an average apartment. It has a couch and coffee table, but lacks individuality. We're going to add some light and accessories to this bland corner. We're also going to focus on this major design dilemma, an empty space where a hideaway Murphy bed used to be. The space has no doors, is in the center of the room, and is too shallow for storage. We've enlisted the help of design duo Jane Hartman and Lori Rourke. Their West Coast business, Lori Jane, was built on the idea of bringing new life to old recycled materials. We've asked Jane to help us assess our design dilemma and pick out our raw materials. Lori will show us how to put them all together a little bit later. Now, looking around this room, I'm sure your eye sees that there's a lot that can be done. So give me some ideas. What are you thinking that we might need? Well. Jane suggests we bring light and depth to this corner by creating a hanging lantern. She also believes a decorative frame holder and some unique photograph stands will enliven the space. Speaking of space, we have too much right over here. I think this used to be where our Murphy bed was, and it was obviously taking out. It's an old building, building so um, I don't know. It's just enormous, and it's, it's just blank. We need some, something here, some life. Yeah, it's kind of an odd space. Um, it's not really big enough for a closet. Right. And I don't know what kind of furniture you would want to put in there. Jane's idea is to create a colorful screen to block the space by using old doors. That's right. We're going to put salvaged doors inside our room. Yeah. OK, <laughs> I trust you. Let's go shopping, my favorite part. Our first project is going to be a hanging lantern for the corner next to the shelves. We started our shopping by checking out the salvage yard selection of glass products. Yeah, there's some jars in here, actually, that we could transform into a lantern and um, create some more light in the room. Just simple baby food jars like this? Yeah. That's great. And, I mean, any color, what do you think? Or is clear the best for our purposes? Well, you know, the glass, you can get some glass and green, but I think that for what we're looking for, the clear glass will be the best thing. Okay, great. And this has to be inexpensive. Everybody has these lying around, I would right. think. Right. They're recycled. You can get them for free. You can get them for a quarter at a junk store. Very good. And that's in our budget for sure. <laughs> Next, Jane here, said we exactly needed beads or other trinkets to decorate the lantern with. Uh, I found a whole really box of things I thought would work. Pretty. What do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely this clear glass right here. Here. The beads are very colorful, and they'll really shine with the candlelight. And that's what we needed in the room, just something to kind of spruce it up. Next order of business was to look through the salvage yard's collection of used doors. I can show you something kind of fun that we can do for that one space that we're kind of having a problem with. Okay. With just a few of these old doors, Jane and Lori are going to create an eye-catching screen. Okay, what about um, color, texture? Does it really matter? Well, some people might want to paint a door for what we're using it for, but I think I might just leave it the way it is. Okay. All right, I trust you. What about hinges? They're right there. Do we need oh, any actually, of those? Oh, actually, hinges would be really good. All right. Let's now, what would we look for in a hinge? Just uh, color, because I, I don't know. Well, I would look for something a little more decorative. Okay. Now, that's kind of pretty texture. Actually, that's nice. If we can find the other half of it. Oh, right hey, there. Here it is, like a puzzle. There you have it. Is that we'll good? We'll get a few more of these, and okay. we'll use um, those up. Oh, what size? I mean, what are you thinking? Just well, that size? Actually, they can all be a different size, because we're going to use them um, to put the doors together. And how much can we get these, do you think? 
Well, I know in some places they might be a little more, but I think here they're only about $4. Okay. I guess we're all set here. Okay. All right, let's grab the stuff and go. Oh, wait, let's take this, too. Okay, perfect. <laughs> hey, when we come back, we're going to show you just how easy it is to turn all of these great finds into really neat things that are going to completely turn around our problem room. Trust me on this. Don't go away. Brought to you by Johnson & Johnson, where the best ideas for babies are born. When your eyes feel dry, gritty, irritated, protect them with Refresh brand eye drops. First Refresh relieves dryness, then Refresh forms a lasting shield of protection that keeps irritation out and moisture in. Refresh, it relieves and protects. Hey there, pretty lady. Can I offer you something? Sorry, but I don't buy into the whole beauty fallacy thing. It's a bill of goods forced on us by an image-obsessed media. Yeah. I don't need superficial tools like these to empower me. I'm... Hello. <laughs> Hippies. It looks good on you. It's got to be the puppy chow. Get your puppy off to a great start. Purina puppy chow builds strong bones and muscles and supports a healthy immune system. Here, boy. Come on. So he can keep on amazing you year after year. Incredible puppy food, incredible puppies. Purina puppy chow brand. I like to leave my problems at home when I drive. But if I can't leave them at home, I tell them they can come along. But only if they shut up and enjoy the ride. Introducing Hidden Valley Single Cups with the real taste of ranch. Perfect while waiting for your main course to arrive. Anytime, any place. Hi, I'm Christine Pallara, and welcome back to Treasure Makers. We just picked up some great everyday items at a recycling center that we're going to use to make some unique accents for a big problem room. It's an apartment that has all the necessities, but no personality. The person who lives here can't afford expensive accessories to dress up these bare walls. So we're going to add a small lantern, a stylized picture frame, and some creative picture holders. We're also going to find a solution to this awkward space that used to be a hideaway Murphy bed. Joining me now is the other half of the design firm, Lori Jane, Lori Rourke. And Lori, thank you so much for coming. Sure. And for helping us with this problem room. First thing we're going to make is a hanging lantern. When we're finished, it will look like this. To make our hanging lantern, we're going to use black 19-gauge wire that you can purchase at any hardware store. We'll also use a glass baby food jar and some colorful beads that we found at the recycling center. The tools we'll need are a pair of round nose and needle nose pliers and some wire cutters. Um, what we're going to do first is take, we've got four pieces of the 19 gauge wire. Okay. You want to hold those sure. three for me? Um, they're about three feet long. And what we're going to do first is we're going to wrap one of these around the jar. You notice there's a lip to the jar right, right. there. And we're going to wrap it around and make sure that the ends are about even in length before we start twisting. We're just going to turn this a couple of times. Okay. Straighten it out. So, Lori, actually, all you're doing, the way you twist it, is just like you tie a twist tie to a garbage bag or a sandwich bag or... Exactly. And then we're going to do this three more times, and we're going to end up with four pieces of wire, that two pairs that are facing each other. Perfect. When you're finished twisting the four wires, straighten the loose ends at the top and the bottom and pull them taut. What is next? What we're going to do now is make some loops on all of these wires, each side, we're gonna make just some little loops. Do we need pliers? Nope, we can do it with our hands. All right. Okay. To make the loops, bend the top wire with your thumb and forefinger in a circle. Repeat this process with each of the four wires. Next, 
Take the four wires sticking up and gather them over the jar. With a small piece of wire, wrap the four ends together. You know, you can Just wrap it around here, and once we get done, we're going to kind of shove it together so it looks cleaner. Okay. So at this point, you can just kind of loosely. Just do it again like you're twisting and twisting. Yeah, okay. exactly. This, is, this wire is really pliable. Use your pliers to curl one of the ends into a small eye loop. We'll use that to hang the lantern later. Then curl the remaining three pieces into decorative swirls. Now for the wires at the bottom of the jar. Take two of them on opposing sides and use your thumb and forefinger to create loops like you did at the lip of the jar. But instead of making one per wire, make two. With the remaining two wires, cut them to about eight inches, pull them together under the bottom of the jar, and twist them together three or four times. Then, cut one end off and curl the other. Then curl the remaining two ends on the bottom of the jar. When you're finished, it should look like this. The next step is to make a chain to hang the lantern. OK, well, remember those scraps of wire? Yes. We are going to make a chain out of them. Good. We don't throw away or waste anything no, around here, right? definitely not. Recycle. That's right. So um, we're going to take a piece of wire, straighten it out um, four to six inches, however long you want, because depending on where you're putting it, you're going to want to make the chain um, the length the desired length. To make the chain, create two eye hooks on either end of a piece of wire. Then link the chains together with your pliers. The last step is to decorate the lantern with colorful beads. Bend an eye hook in one end, slip the bead onto the wire, and bend the spare wire into a 45 degree angle. And here's your bead. So hold it up for me, and I'll put this on the bottom so you get an idea. Wow, that took all of five seconds. <laughs> That's great. I love this. We're just, just... going to loop it on, just like that. And see, that oh. little dangle makes a big difference. It really difference. does. And you can see, we have a finished one over here, <gasps> all the different beads, all the different that places there are to hang beads. That is gorgeous. Now let's see how our lantern looks in our living room. The lighting in this corner was flat and lacking warmth. Look at what happens when we add the lantern. Its delicate shape and light transforms that corner. Our next accessory is a picture hanger made out of wire. When we're finished, it's going to look like this. We're going to get the um, more industrial strength wire out. It's 16 okay. gauge wire and it's rebar tie wire. You can get it again at your hardware store. It's more sturdy. It's called rebar tie. Yes. Okay. Um, we're going to make a few things that um, we can utilize for pictures and frames and things in your house that are just laying around. First, cut a piece of wire approximately 24 inches long. Then, cross the ends and make a loop in the center. Make as many decorative loops as you like on either end. Then, curl the loose ends into spirals. Expand the spirals, spread them out, and place them on the inside lip of the frame of whatever you're holding, and then you're done. We kind of just pushed these in. I mean, really, I just kind of shoved it on there. I love that. <laughs> There's not much to it. That and then is it holds so it. great. And that's it. The next project we're going to make is a picture stand. Items like these can be found in retail stores for anywhere between $19 and $40. We're going to make one for less than 50 cents. In a 30-inch piece of 16-gauge wire, make three loops in the center, then twist the loose ends to the desired length. Bend the twist and spread the loop so that the piece stands on its own. Curl the loose ends into loops and spirals in whatever way you want. Decorate with colorful beads. And finally, place your photo in one of the spirals. Let's go see how all of our accessories really bring life to that problem room. Remember our design challenge? It's a living room that had all the necessary furniture, but no accessories to give it some pizzazz. So we've added a lantern for warmth and character. 
Now we're adding pictures with decorative hangers and some matching freestanding picture holders. The result is a fun and stylish corner. Lori's partner, Jane, helped us arrange our new treasures. Well, you know, we had talked about how dark that corner was, so we added the lantern to bring in some light, and we hung it on this wall hook to keep it away from the wall. And then, you know, we wanted to spice up those pictures, so we added the little wire accents to hang them. And then just to kind of bring some life and lift to that uh, shelf, we made those wire stands and we put some photos on there just to personalize the space. And it's perfect because everybody likes to have pictures of their family around and it looks wonderful, A+. Plus. And we're not through. We still, <laughs> there's work to be done. That's right. Remember those doors that we bought? Well, Jane and Lori are going to be working on those and they're going to show us how it's going to transform that space problem that we have in this room. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Learn how to add a little personality to any paint job. HGTV introduces two home videos to show you how to finish it faux. Host Nancy Golden gives you the basics of mastering paint techniques for walls and floors or furniture and accessories. Each Finish It Faux home video is only $24.95 plus shipping and handling. To order, visit our website at HGTV.com or call 1-800-HGTV-275. Have your credit card ready. No matter what your taste, no matter what your style, no matter what your level of expertise, now you can do it yourself with DIY Decorating and Design. Because what you know matters, DIY has experts to guide you through hundreds of projects. And DIYNet.com gives you printable step-by-step -step details. DIY Decorating and Design is here to help, no matter what. To find out more, call your cable or satellite provider. When your eyes feel dry, gritty, irritated, protect them with Refresh brand eye drops. First Refresh relieves dryness, then Refresh forms a lasting shield of protection that keeps irritation out and moisture in. Refresh, it relieves and protects. You're going to want the perfect outfit. In the summer, I like them to be light, short, and simple. Board shorts, tank tops, uh, crop top, crop top. Hey, what do y'all think about this outfit? You should see us when we go to Walmart. We are just out of control. We take over the store. Oh, look at this tie-dye. Oh, it's is like an airbrush print and everything. Walmart is great because I can go in and buy, you know, a couple tank tops and a couple shorts. And with money you save, you can buy a little hat. Look at these great sandals. Yeah, they just look really cute together. It's a great combination of clothing for summer. Yeah, I love Walmart. You grip the road securely. You whip through curves precisely. The remarkably agile, entirely new 2001 Aurora by Oldsmobile. You get inside it, it gets inside you. Aurora by Oldsmobile. All of nature's wildest colors, right in your own neighborhood. Ace is your place for paint. Welcome back to Treasure Makers, everyone. I'm Christine Pallara. We've been working on materials that we purchased at a recycling center to decorate a room that needs a little bit of help. We've turned to California-based designers Jane Hartman and Lori Rourke to help us evaluate our problem and find a creative solution. Here's what the artists have done to the room so far to give it some style. Now we're going to tackle this space left from a Murphy bed that's been removed. Designer Lori Rourke is back with us. And Lori, the apartment that we're working with is in an older building that had a Murphy bed in the wall. And when the bed was taken out, left a very weird indentation that just doesn't really look right. A lot of open space. A lot of open space. Okay. And so we definitely needed something to fill that space. Let's kind of 
We're going to use three old doors we bought at a salvage yard to solve our space problem. The space could be used for a number of things, but Lori and Jane suggest we make a one-of-a-kind screen. When we're finished, it will look like this. Although it's simple, we'll dress it later. What's the first thing we want to start with? Um, well, probably laying out your doors would be the first thing. Lori says to lay the doors on the floor and make sure the bottom edges are even. That way, when you stand them up, they'll all stand evenly. It won't matter if they're the same height or not. Using a pencil, mark the doors where you want the hinges to go. You can use new or old hinges. Just like any door, you should hinge them near the top and bottom of the doors. To attach the hinges, use a hand drill. Each door's set of hinges should be hung on one side of the door or the other, depending on which way you want the screen to bend. If you alter the sides at every connection point, your screen will open like an accordion. Once the doors are connected, remove any screens or glass. For a screen, use a screwdriver to pry the screen's frame out of the door. Screens can be rusty, so be sure to wear gloves. Okay, Lori, taking away the screen really wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. But what if it's a glass pane? Well, you probably want to use the same gloves I was using with screen or glass, but you just want to be a little bit more careful with glass um, and basically follow the same process. Okay, it's definitely a more difficult project than the ones we were working on earlier. Yes. Not a two, but what do you think? Maybe a six. A six, okay, because it's just more time-consuming, time consuming. yes. Okay, great. And don't give away all your secrets, but what are the kinds of things you can do to really spruce them up? Well, you can really go as elegant as you'd like with these doors and fancy them up a lot and put a fresh coat of paint, or you can go along the lines that I think we're going to end up with and make them real rustic. Perfect. Now it's time to place our new screen in front of this awkward space. Well, we found a huge solution for a huge problem. The space is... Where is it? It's great. <laughs> you solved it. And with doors. When we left you guys, it was we were just taking out the screen, very preliminary, put, showing how to put in the hinges and the screws. So tell us the process. Okay, well, as we had shown you, we took out the screen. Right. And we really cleaned up the doors, washed them, sanded them. Right. Um, did a green wash on this door because it was really cruddy and we really had <laughs> to clean it up. Yeah. And then we painted this door red and kind of sanded it just to give it a more worn look. And then now we have a really great different, you know, colors here. Yeah. It looks and great in the room. Yeah. What do you think? What do we spend on all this? Well, with the doors and the hinges and the paint, I would say about $40. That is amazing, because it was a large design problem, and to only spend that, that amount of money, I mean, that's, that's pretty incredible. Good job Thank to both you. of you. And if you guys think all of this is incredible, Lori and Jane have taken their creations up one more notch, and we're going to be able to see their truly amazing, top-of-the-line creations when we come back. Don't go away. If you have questions or comments, we'd like to hear from you. Write us at Treasure Makers, care of HGTV, P.O. Box 50970, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37950. Be sure to include today's episode number and your daytime phone number. On the next Extreme Homes, this renowned architect could have any type of home he could dream up. So why does he live in a house that's shaped like a snail? Then talk about a home gym. This home has a giant gymnasium built right in. Extreme Homes, Sunday night at 8.30 on HGTV. You're watching Treasure Makers. It's all part of HGTV's Design at 9, only on Home and Garden Television. Imagine what you can do. Brought to you by Prilosec. Heartburn. You get it time and time again. You've treated it. You've changed your diet. But the relief doesn't last, and the pain comes back two or more days a week. That frequent persistent heartburn may be due to acid reflux disease, potentially serious. It's Prilosec time. Time to see your doctor about America's most prescribed acid control medicine. Your results may vary, but for many people, one daily dose of Prilosec provides 24 hours of complete heartburn relief. Ask your doctor for more information about Prilosec and if it's right for you. The most common side effects are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. 24 hours of complete heartburn relief is possible with the purple pill they call Prilosec. 
Yesterday, you had to figure out which home improvement store really had the lowest prices. This led to confusion and lots of math. Today, Lowe's has made it easy, thanks to their army of comparison shoppers. These hardworking, thrifty people search the globe for you, making sure that every price is truly a low price, guaranteed. Now America can shop on with confidence and unrestricted joy. Lowe's, improving home improvement. Whew. We had a smoker in tonight's carpool, and now my best blazer smells like an ashtray. So it's into the dryer with new Clorox Fresh Care at Home Dry Cleaning. Mmm, clean and fresh. Who knows more about cleaning than Clorox? All it took was one drop. To cause a ripple. Caused the whole world to take notice. Jacobs Creek, Australia's top drop. Jane, you and your partner Lori have helped create some amazing accents for this room. It's completely turned it around, and that's what we needed. It had the bare essentials, but you've taken it to another level. We let you go loose on the room, and then you took it even to a higher level with all of these elaborate creations. So please explain them. Well, we work with a lot of recycled glass, and as you see here, this is our floating flower. It has a little wire work and some beads, but it really brightens up any space when you put flowers I in it. I love it. And then we have what we call a candelier, and on this one I used some crystals from an old chandelier and it kind of creates that neat light that you right. would get from any type of chandelier. Right. And then we have some of our wall pieces, like our triple wall sconce, and then my Matches favorite. The <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite, the wallflower. Lorianne Jane's doors and wire hangings, and the watering pail, fabric, and vase for the coffee table we picked up at a flea market add up to a creative solution for this room. The doors and wire hangings provided a colorful, creative solution to a tough problem, how to cover up this odd space left by the removal of a Murphy bed. And adding their glass and wire lanterns really gave the doors and the entire room a finished look. Lori and Jane's wire lanterns, frame holders, and picture stands added warmth, charm, and character. The flea market finds we put on the coffee table added balance to the wall unit and warmed the area in front of the couch. Well, mission accomplished. The room looks amazing. A big thanks to Lori and to you for giving us all these great tips, and they're tips that really, with just a little bit of imagination, could help you become a treasure maker, too. I'm Christine Pallara. Thanks for watching. Design at 9, a full hour of decorating ideas, information, and inspiration that are just your style. Tomorrow night on Design at 9. He wants earth tone. The week. Cause that's the night that my sweetie and I... The film is a supernatural thriller, but it's also got a lot of comedy hijinks. Oh, believe me, a sexy lady gonna be there. Devil, he is going to be there. Believe me, he has a bone to pick. It's going to be a two-fisted drama for the whole family. Believe me, you're going to love it. I swear to God, it's going to be fantastic. So you're saying that this whole end-of-the-world skeet shoot has much to do about nothing? Yeah, yeah. It's all fiction. The world is not going to come to an end. It's going to be the same beautiful place. It's going to be fantastic. People reaching their goals out there, except for poor people who are going to fall further and further behind. 
giving rise to teen pregnancy and viral mutations that we cannot destroy. Believe me, there's nothing to worry about. It's going to be the same beautiful world. Well, I, for one, Mr. Schwarzenegger, saw End of Days five times. And I believe every word of it. <laughs> what are you going to do, Tom? Are you going to hide under your mama's skirt? If you're saying I'm chicken, then cluck, cluck. Listen, listen, Tom. 